how does Sam address one is Pentecostals when they say Jesus was called the Father in Isaiah 9 6? Just let me highly encourage everyone go to my blog, answering Islam blog.wordpress.com. I have an entire article on that. Now, let me explain that. I have an article on this. If you actually look at the Hebrew, it says that the child who will be born, this is Isaiah 9 6, unto us the child is born, unto us the son is given, and he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, El Gibor. And then most translations will say Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And again, don't take my word for it. If you can read the Hebrew, go read the Hebrew, get any lexical source or even a commentary. It's actually Aviad, literally the father of, I don't like to use the word eternity because eternity may miscommunicate that somehow we will live timelessly. And I don't know, I think John, you'd agree with me philosophically that we're creatures. So we'll experience never ending time and only God by nature is timeless. I don't know, but that's right. Yeah. Okay, so you're okay, good, man. Yep, See, I know yep. you, man, I knew you're a genius, bro, because you agree <laughs> with everything I believe. <laughs> okay. But literally, the term is father of everlastingness. What it's saying is, if you check actually how the word father is used in the Hebrew scriptures, it can mean possessor or source of. Literally, it's saying that this child is the father of everlastingness. <clears throat> and then you see this word odd used, and this is all my article. It's used in Isaiah 57, 15 where it talks about Yahovah inhabiting Ad. He inhabits Ad. Some translations say he inhabits eternity, but others will say he who lives forever. So right there, it tells you what it means. It refers to something that's never ending, that continues forever. Literally, it's simply saying that this child is the possessor of everlasting life, and he confers everlasting life on all who trust in him, because in him is life. That's exactly the New Testament teaching. John 1, 4, in him was life. And that life was the light of men. John 11, 25, 26, I am the resurrection and the life. John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So all it's saying is that this child possesses everlastingness as a quality, meaning everlasting life, and he confers it on all who turn to him. It's not saying he's God the Father. It's saying he's the possessor of eternal life, a life he bestows on all who turn to him. No more, no less. That's all it's saying.